Believe it or not, you actually do not have to drop out of college to be successful. I know, crazy, right? In fact, for most people, dropping out of college is a terrible idea. You could still make that same amount of money while getting your degree. Why would you drop out? Take it from me, I made six figures last year all while still getting my engineering degree and double majoring in college. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how you can make money online while still being in school and have all the perks of running a business without working full time. So I'm sure you've noticed that in the last couple of years, there's been a huge wave of people telling impressionable young people that they need to drop out if they want to make money online, that they need to go start a business and get real world experience. While it's not bad advice, it's being told as if it's the only thing that you can do to be successful. And that's not true. I feel like nowadays a lot of kids are being discouraged from staying in school even if they have a good major, they have a good circle of friends, they're enjoying their time just because it's actually holding them back from being successful. And this is where all the problems start. It's because they drop out of college with no plans of anything. Maybe they'll start some dropshipping store or some SMMA, but they actually have no idea what they want to do. See, all these people think that they have to start a business, otherwise they're not going to be successful. And then they realize how hard it actually is. It's not that simple. You can't just start a business, you know? And now you've dropped out of school and the only other option that you see is start a business. You realize that's too hard and now you're left stranded. You have nothing. You don't even have that degree anymore. They don't have the benefit of taking the time to actually explore what you want to do because now you've taken the floor out from under you. So now you're panicking and when you're panicked, you make short-term decisions that affect you so negatively in the long term. So this is the problem with most of the online money advice. These people think that everybody that wants to make money online also wants to be a serial entrepreneur. These are two completely different things. Sure, there's a hand few of people that wanna be CEO, making multi-millions every year, maybe even a billion every year, but other people are just looking to make a few extra thousand dollars a month. So I fell into the second category. I viewed making money online as the scary mountaintop that was hard to reach. And then if I didn't go all in, then I wouldn't make a single dollar online. But after a bit of time, I realized that that's not the case at all. So I was stuck in the grind set drop out of college attitude because I only viewed two options. So one, obviously start a business or two, get a low paying minimum wage job that was taking all of my time. And obviously none of those options sounded appealing to me. Then seemingly by accident, I had a random conversation with somebody at the gym and got introduced to appointment setting. I was so extremely skeptical at first because obviously I had never heard of something like this before. And I just thought it was one of those make money online schemes that don't actually work or only work for like 1% of people. So not only was I like, I don't wanna do this. I was like, I don't care enough. I'm like too scared. So I can't even think straight. I don't know. There were a billion thoughts going through my head and none of them was like, get started, take the risk. So it took me probably about two more months of constant nagging myself to actually get started. I was like, you know, what is the worst thing that can happen? I get on an offer. I don't really love it. Maybe I only make an extra grand instead of an extra three grand. I guess worst case scenario, yes, I could have made zero dollars, but I still was not gonna lose any money, right? Plus I had nothing to lose at the time. You know, if I failed, I would still be in college and I would still have my degree to fall back on. This was honestly just something extra that could only help me. So the way that appointment setting was explained to me is that I would be working for influencers or people selling info products online and be handling their direct messages for them. Obviously it sounded a little sus, but why would I not give it a try? So as I've mentioned before, you know, the first part of starting this process is outreach. So I reached out to a ton of business owners online through Instagram, social media platforms. And I honestly just did this while walking to class, while I was on the treadmill, while I was watching TV with my roommates, because I was still in school at the time. So whatever minimal free time I had, I just sent a few outreach messages because why not? I started to get lots of responses back after I sent probably like a few hundred of them. And honestly, sending a few hundred messages of outreach is not a big deal. I mean, you are copy and pasting like three messages. If you think that's a problem, then that's the least of your problems. I'm just gonna put that out there. But after I did set hundreds and I got tons of responses back, I was able to filter out the responses, see who did I actually wanna work for? How much would I be making? What would my time management be like? All of that. And I found somebody to work for. So basically what I was doing is I'm helping them get more people to close deals for them. There are so many of these people selling info products all over social media. I don't think that other people understand how common it is. The first people that I worked for were actually selling a program on how to go door to door cleaning windows. Like who would have thought? Eventually, probably about two or three months in, I got connected with other influencers. I also never stopped doing outreach because I always like to see what's out there, but I was making 6K a month, 12K a month, 15, 18, 22, 
and it only just gets better. And the best part is it wasn't even a business. I never had to start my own business. And I was making over six figures in college while double majoring. Like that's crazy. So this is really when I realized that the business thing isn't true. I can still make SMMA level kind of money, CEO kind of level money without actually being the CEO. Like I was spending a third of the time I would have to spend at a normal job and I was still taking college classes. So you're probably sitting here and you're like, okay, this girl in this video, she got lucky. There is no way that I can do this. She just happened to be in the right place in the right time, get connected to the right people. Sure, I mean, with some of this luck, I guess maybe, but at the end of the day, the first step of this is outreach, right? So if you are sending tons of messages, how is it possible that you will not get a single response back? Like, I want you to think about that right now. If you are sending tons of messages a day, you don't think one person is going to say yes to you? Why not? Exactly. And being suspicious, being scared, that's normal. I mean, that was my mindset initially. I mean, before I started, I didn't think I could make a single dollar online. After I made my first dollar, I was like, okay, you know, maybe I'll make 3K. After I made 3K in less than a month, I was like, wow, okay, maybe I will be making six figures my first year doing this. And I did. But I'm just here to tell you that this is not luck. I mean, I have friends that are doing this that have made more money than I have. I have students that I personally mentor. Sanjana reached out to me when she was making $200 a week at a minimum wage paying job where she hated her boss. So then I told her about appointment setting and after she made $200 from a nine minute phone call. I mean, that's crazy. So she went from making $200 a week to making $200 in nine minutes. Even then, I guess you could say it's luck, but what about Barbara? So Barbara had reached out to me looking to learn how to do the same thing and within three weeks, she had made $5,000. So Barbara reached out to me looking to get into the same thing, appointment setting and closing. And within three weeks, she landed her first offer and made $5,000 that month. And that's when I realized this is really just an untapped opportunity that people are not taking advantage of. I guess not enough people know about it yet. So no, you don't have to start an SMMA. You don't have to start a business. You do not have to drop out of college to be successful. Barbara and I are doing this while still finishing up our college degrees and Sanjana is doing this full time in high school. I think one question that I'm going to get asked after this video is why am I not dropping out if I'm making that much money? But as I mentioned earlier, you want to have options. Do I love sales? Do I love making this kind of money online from home? Of course I do. But what if 10 years from now I decide I do want to go become an engineer? You know, I do want options. So even if you don't want to start with appointment setting, I really hope that this changed your perspective around business and dropping out of college. You do not have to make major life decisions because somebody online told you to. So if you're curious about this opportunity, you want to figure out how to make money online, just like the other girls I told you about earlier, I am mentoring people and I will leave the link in the description below so you can apply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.